Use a master carton to manifest UPS Worldwide Economy packages and then close the master carton. Today we're going to review how to manifest Worldwide Economy packages using WorldShip 2020. We have three packages to ship Worldwide Economy. The first package is to a customer in Australia. When entering the address, make sure to include the phone number and email address. Then, we will select Worldwide Economy DDP Service. Now we will create a new master carton. We do not have any open master cartons currently, so we will select New Master Carton. That master carton ID will default as shown here, but this can be edited to JAN232, for example. We can now enter package characteristics of 4x4x6. Next, we continue to enter the required customs documentation. In this example, this is a sale and the description of goods is paper clips. We have the correct tariff code entered, the country of origin, the number of units, and unit price. We navigate back to the Ship To tab to enter the weight, because we did not enter this previously. We can now select Process Shipment. We now have another international order for a customer in France. Again, we make sure we enter the phone number and email address. We select Worldwide Economy DDP and the package is by default assigned to the master carton I created. We enter the dimensions and the weight. We again go to Customs Documentation. This is again paper clips and we update the needed information and select Process Shipment. Let's complete one more order that came in from Spain. Again, we will select Worldwide Economy DDP Service and enter the dimensions and weight of the package before continuing to the customs documentation. This time we are selling white facial tissue and we make sure the correct tariff code, country of origin, the number of units and unit price are all entered and then we will select process shipment. Now we have three worldwide economy DDP packages that have been created. Now we want to place these packages into a master carton and ship to our designated export processing site. First, we will navigate over to history. You can see for today's pickups, we now have open worldwide economy movements. Recall, this is the master carton ID we assigned, JAN232. Under the JAN232 master carton ID, we see the packages we created to Australia, France, and Spain. Next, we will right-click on the Master Carton ID and select Close Master Carton. A pop-up appears informing us we will now go to the shipping screen to create the Master Carton. From the Worldwide Economy contract, we know the address of the export processing site to ship the Master Carton, which contains our Worldwide Economy packages. We can utilize any domestic service or transborder service outside of the U.S. Today we will choose UPS Ground. We enter the dimensions and the weight of the master carton with the worldwide economy packages inside. We then select Process Shipment. Now, if we go back to history, we can see the Master Carton ID JAN232. 
we can see the domestic movement going to the UPS export processing site and see that tracking number. We can also see the worldwide economy tracking numbers going to Australia, France, and Spain. These all roll up under closed worldwide economy because we have now closed the master carton.